Next, we will move ahead and take a look at uh, supervised machine learning. What is supervised machine learning? We discussed in the previous session, right? So it is a technique um, where a model learns from the model uh, labeled data. So this is where historical data, it contains both the input features and the labeled output feature. Right, so using this historical data, which, which contains both the input and labeled output, we train our model. We train our supervised machine learning model. To train your supervised machine learning model, you need to have both the input and the corresponding labeled output values should be there. Otherwise, you cannot train your supervised machine learning related algorithms. Algorithms like uh, linear regression and uh, random forest, XGBoost and uh, neural network support vector mission. So for this bunch of algorithms, right, this bunch of algorithms requires both the input and output feature. It all falls under supervised machine learning algorithm. Why it is called supervised? Because like how we teach a kid with the question and answer, we train the model with both the input as well as the output feature. Hence, it is called supervised machine learning algorithm, supervised machine learning technique, okay? So once you train your model with the input and output feature, your model becomes prediction ready. Now, if you apply this model on any new housing data set, which contains uh, the square feet and number of bedrooms. So in this case, for example, a house with thousand square feet and six bedrooms, six number of bedrooms, this model will predict, will make a prediction for the housing price based on the pattern it learned from the past data. So remember very well, if you, yeah, the term supervised machine learning refers you need to train your model with labeled output feature. Okay, without labeled output feature, we cannot train your model. Let's say you don't have labeled output feature. Either you need to derive the labeled output feature based on some business rule and then create your labeled output feature and then you train your model. Supposing, right, um, you cannot derive the labeled output feature. Let's say you have unlabeled data. You don't have the labeled data available. So in that case, you have to use some other type of machine learning technique called unsupervised machine learning that we will discuss it later. Hope you understood what is supervised machine learning is all about. Next, we will move ahead and take a look at uh, the two different problems we can address, uh, which we can address as part of supervised machine learning algorithm. The one is regression problem. The other one is the classification problem. First of all, what is a regression problem? It involves predicting a continuous numerical target value. For example, if you want to predict the housing price or stock price, in that case you can use regression problem because housing price and stock price are continuous numerical values. Okay, so in this case, both the housing price and stock price are numerical values. So you can go ahead and use regression related algorithms like uh, linear regression and um, uh, the support vector mission and random forest xg boost okay next one is the classification problem so within this classification problem there are three different types of problems we can solve one is the binary classification problem the other one is multi-class classification problem and finally multi-label classification problem, multi-label classification problem, okay? So you might be wondering what exactly the classification problem is all about and what is binary classification problem is all about. So now we will start understanding a binary classification problem. With that, you'll be able to understand what exactly the classification problem is all about, okay? So this is the vehicle insurance data set. It is used for uh, fraud deduction through the binary classification, okay? So this data set contains both the input features and the labeled output feature. This is the labeled output feature. So you train your model with both the input and output feature. When you train your model with both the input and labeled uh, output feature, we call that as supervised machine learning algorithm. So as part of this, uh, now we are looking at binary classification problem, right? So here, the labeled output feature called is fraud, it contains either zero or one it will not contain more than two classes in it. 
Hence, it is called binary classification problem. You can predict uh, each customer's insurance claim, you now whether it is a fraud or non-fraudulent. So, right? Yes means fraudulent, no means non-fraudulent. So, we have flagged a zero here. That means so zero is non-fraud and one means fraudulent transaction. So, here the model has to predict one of the two possible classes. What are the two possible classes? Zero, one, right? Fraudulent or non-fraudulent. There are two possible outcomes. Each customer, uh, you know, the model has to classify or predict the class label, uh, you know, out of the two possible classes, right? So one is either a, this claim is a fraudulent or not. It cannot be fraudulent, non-fraudulent, isn't it? One of the two possible classes it has to predict. That is what called as a binary classification problem. To solve the binary classification problem, we can use a logistic regression algorithm or other set of algorithms like XGBoost, Random Forest, uh, CAD Boost, this kind of algorithms we can use it. Next, we will go ahead and take a look at multi-class classification problem. Unlike the binary classification problem, in the case of uh, labeled output feature, you will have two or more categories will be there. Not all the scenarios, you will have only two categories will be available in your target labeled output feature. Right. There are some cases, right, uh, in the target output feature, it contains more than one classes, more, more than two classes or more than two categories in it. Right. The model has to predict one of three possible classes or one of many possible classes. Okay. In this case, the, the types of uh, prods are defined as only three classes. Out of the three classes, the model has to predict the one of the possible classes for each customer or categories for each customer. This is called multi-class classification problem. So in the case of multi-class classification uh, problem, we can use uh, the algorithms um, like um, uh, softmax based neural networks for the multi-class classification algorithm. Okay, we can use that algorithm. Next one is the multi-label classification problem. What is multi-label classification problem? This is uh, in a special case, okay? So in this case, for each customer, each customer's insurance claim, we may have to predict um, multiple risk at the same time. And if you look at here, right, there are three label, three label output features are there. High fraud risk, high accident risk, high claim amount risk. These last three columns, okay, or the multiple labels we need to predict, okay. So why is multi-label classification important? So in the real world, the risks are not mutually exclusive, right? The customer uh, who is a, the customer might be a high fraud risk or high accident risk or high claim amount risk. The other classic examples, uh, take for example, in the case of uh, medical diagnosis, a patient can have multiple uh, diseases at um, at, uh, at once, right? For example, this patient, let's assume that there's a patient one, patient two, patient three. Each patient can have uh, more than one complication at a time, right? Simultaneously, they have multiple complications. They, they may be, right, they have higher blood pressure and high cholesterol and uh, high sugar. So in this case, the model has to predict uh, three, um, for three, labeled output features simultaneously for each instance. That is what called as multi-label classification problem. In the case of multi-label classification problem, what we do is we use something called multi-output random forest algorithm, okay? To conclude or to summarize, in the case of binary classification problem, the model has to predict one of two possible classes. In the case of multi-class classification problem, it has to predict one of many possible classes, one out of or one out of many possible places, right? We can say that one. So not only three possible classes, one out of many possible classes. And next one is the multi multi label classification. In this case, the model has to predict uh, three or right. So more than one label um, output um, value simultaneously. That is called your multi label uh, classification. Hope you understood um, what exactly binary classification algorithm and multi-class uh, classification and uh, multi-label classification is all about. Okay, this wraps up uh, the supervised machine learning algorithm.